What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in with Cali. Please like, subscribe if you haven't. So I understand, you know, the Clippers lost last night's game. And every Clippers fan, of course, wanted them to go up 2-0. But I feel like some Clipper fans are really overreacting over the game two loss. There are some positives out of the situation. And I understand that you might not want to look at the positives because the ending result was the Clippers didn't win. But I'm seeing on, twi on Twitter, X... Um, some so-called Clipper fans saying that the Clippers are better without Kawhi Leonard. They are, um, they, they don't need Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard had a trash game. Kawhi Leonard played like trash because of him is the reason why they lost. If you really feel that way, honestly, jump off the bandwagon then. I'm just being straight up with you. Jump off the bandwagon because that's the most utterly crazy thing BS I've ever heard. You're really going to, some of you Clipper fans are really going to sit there and say, Kawhi is the reason why they didn't win. And Kawhi, they, 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 they're a better team without Kawhi. Okay. If you really believe that, like I said, stop watching the Clippers now because you really obviously don't know basketball. If a team is better without their superstar, what sense does that make? Make it make sense to me because I don't I don't see I don't see the sense in it. And this is the problem with some Clipper fans that I have. They overreact way too much. And I, I have moments where I overreact on some things, but not to that extent, not to that extent. I mean, the man hasn't played basketball in like damn near 30 days. And then on top of that, he came back in game two so he wouldn't miss more time. So some of you uh, fans out there won't criticize him even more because he really wants to win for the team. He really wants to be for the team. He really wants this operation to go well. And you criticize the man for coming back when you would have criticized him if he never showed up. And it's just all this criticism thrown his way. And it's like, if, if you're Clippers fans, you got to understand something. He gets enough criticism from people like Stephen A. Smith, the media, and all these other people. He doesn't need it from the fans that... He's actually going out there trying to play hard for and trying to win a championship for. If you really think that you don't need Kawhi Leonard, then, okay, how come the Clippers didn't win the championship a couple years ago when Kawhi went out with a knee injury? How come they didn't get past the Phoenix Suns? That was a Phoenix Suns team with an old Chris Paul and a very, very young Devin Booker. That wasn't a that wasn't a Phoenix team with Kevin Durant on it and Bradley Beal and a, and a more seasoned Devin Booker. That's, that wasn't a team like that. That was a team that was beatable, if you ask me. But at the same time, they didn't win it because they didn't have their best player. And that's why I said a lot of Clippers fans get on my fucking nerves. They say the stupidest shit, the dumbest things, and it's like, damn, give the man a chance. You wouldn't even be relevant if it wasn't for Kawhi Leonard. Do you realize that? Without Kawhi Leonard, wouldn't nobody even talk about the Clippers. They wouldn't, the media wouldn't, meet the media already singles out the Lakers on TV more than any other team in the NBA because LeBron is on there. You wouldn't even get mentioned if Kawhi Leonard wasn't on that team putting on a jersey. Because as much as a lot of people on Twitter will sit there and say, oh, we like Paul George, that's the problem. You're dividing the team when it's a team game. You're sitting there making an individual thing. Oh, Paul George is a better player. Oh, and some people say Kawhi is a better player. It doesn't fucking matter who's a better player. The Clippers and the whole organization is trying to win a championship. That's the only focus. You want to debate who's better, this, this, and that? You can debate that. Honestly, there really is no debate. Paul George is trying to get something that Kawhi done had two times, which is a championship. Just like the rest of them, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, they're they're on a quest to get something that Kawhi already has. So they can't be better players because they never led a team to that distance. And every time they've had opportunities to be the guy on a team, what's happened? They've always came up short. Always. And the funny thing is, they've always came up short as teammates. Paul George played with uh, Russell Westbrook on OKC. James Harden played with Russell Westbrook on OKC. So they failed each other as teammates and everything. So to sit here and criticize Kawhi because he came back, you know, trying to get the feel for the game. And I understand that 
you know, uh, the game didn't go as planned because the Clippers didn't win. But, you know, if you want to take some positive out of the game, you know, defensively, the Clippers played well. Their offense just wasn't that good because they haven't had Kawhi Leonard playing in about a month's time. So they have to find a way to ingratiate him back into the offense because they've been playing without him. So it's like they kind of have to, you know, everybody kind of get kind of kind of got to get back into their rhythm and get back into their natural uh, position, their natural spot and figure out how they can get this thing gelling. Because when we saw them earlier in the season when they won 26 out of 31 games in the regular season when they went on that run that that magical run in the regular season winning all those games Kawhi was at the top of his game everybody else was in their natural position they just got to get back to that point because like I said when he's playing at his best it allows everybody else to kind of just you know play their position understand what they need to do when their number is called upon and just just be great when 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 it's needed that's all they need to do. They just got to get him back in the rhythm. That's all it's going to take. It's not all this, you know, back and forth and all this stuff I'm seeing on X and all. See, some of those fans that do all that stuff, I don't get with them. I, I don't I don't I don't go into all that because, like I said, it doesn't matter who's a better player. Do you want to fucking win a championship or you don't? Because I don't hear um, I don't hear te- other teams sitting there saying things like this. When you when you think about other teams, do you hear on Phoenix? Do you hear with the Phoenix Suns? Do you hear, oh, is uh, Kevin Durant a better player than Devin Booker? Is Devin Booker a better player? You don't hear other fans talk this dumb shit because it's all about winning. Who gives a damn? You're going to have your opinion. I'm going to have my opinion. She's going to have hers. He's going to have his. It's all about winning a championship. Clippers fans, some Clippers fans are worried about the 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 the, the minor things, which is the reason why the Clippers never won anything, because you're, you're, you're looking at all the minor things. And that's something that the organization used to do throughout the years. They look at all the minor little uh, things about the team and not try to help them grow from a standpoint of getting, you know, what I'm saying what they need so they could be a winning organization. Now they actually have that opportunity and people are just sitting there talking bad about Kawhi Leonard, which is damn near your only hope of winning, because if you think James Harden and uh, Paul George and Russell Westbrook can win a championship without Kawhi Leonard, I mean, is it possible? Yeah, I mean, anything is possible, but I highly doubt it because all of them don't have that clutch gene. Because if they did, one one out of the three or all three of them would already have a championship. They, that's, that's the problem. All three of them come up short at times in big moments in the playoffs when they were the leaders of a team. Kawhi didn't. Kawhi came through. When he was on the Spurs, people questioned Kawhi. Oh, he's in a system. Okay, well, he left the damn system. Then he went to the Toronto Raptors and won with a team that nobody in the world ever expected to win a championship. You couldn't have paid me to think that the Toronto Raptors would ever win a championship. I don't care what player went there. I don't even know if LeBron could have did that. Honestly, I really don't know. He barely could win with Cleveland. I mean, so it's like when you think about all that, like I, I don't, I don't want to hear all this back and forth crap. If you're all for the team, then be all for the team. Everybody is needed. All hands are needed in this thing for them to win it. They can't win without Kawhi. Kawhi can't win without them. They can't win without each other. Let's just get that understood. And anybody that disagrees with that, oh, well, it does not matter. They all need each other to win. Because even if, I mean, even if uh, the Clippers hypothetically if Kawhi didn't come back this series and the Clippers got past the Dallas Mavericks, which I believe they could get past Dallas Mavericks without Kawhi Leonard. I believe they can do that. But if they got to play a team like, hmm, Denver next, they ain't going to beat Denver without Kawhi Leonard. They probably won't even beat the Timberwolves without Kawhi Leonard. The Timberwolves are that team that matches up with the Clippers very well. Tell me how good James Harden and Paul George plays against the Timberwolves. Tell me what their numbers are against teams like that. Because teams like that, their numbers don't look the same. The Dallas Mavericks got P.J. Washingtons and Daniel Gaffords and guys like that. Well, those guys are are Maxi Klebers. Those guys are a little bit easier to score on than a a, 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 a Carl Anthony Towns, than a uh, Anthony Edwards, McDaniels. Rudy Gobert in the paint. See, 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 that's what I'm saying. Dallas don't have players like that. They don't have players that matches that intensity. So when you start playing the better teams, well, that's when you need your best players on the floor. So don't tell me they're a better team without Kawhi Leonard and all these stupid things you're saying on Twitter and X because it doesn't make any sense. 
which is the one reason why I really don't even like going on there because people just say the dumbest things. And like I said, all the other teams, when I look on Twitter and X, when other teams are playing, I don't hear, oh, well, Tyrese Maxey is a better player than Joel Embiid. You don't even hear, you don't hear Philly fans say shit like that because it's not about that. It's about them winning. I don't hear... Um, I don't see when I when I see the Lakers play, I don't see, oh, Anthony Davis is a way better player than LeBron. LeBron is this, this, and that over Anthony Davis. It's not about that at this point. At this point, it's about them coming together, all teams coming together to try to win a championship. If you're sitting here debating who's a better player between Kawhi and PG, that's stupid. You're focused on all the wrong things and you're really not, you're not focusing on the winning aspect of it because they need each other. If they didn't need each other, like I said, Paul George and the Clippers a few years ago when they faced the Phoenix Suns in the conference finals, they would have they, they would have beat them. They would have went to the finals and won it. And you got some stupid fans saying, oh, well, Paul George led us the furthest. So he's the better player. You talking about leading you far to the conference finals? Bitch, it's about winning a championship. Anything less than a championship is a bust. Nobody led anybody nowhere until you win a championship. It's championship or bust. It's not conference finals or bust. There's no such thing. If you don't win a championship, it's a failed season. But you have stupid fans saying stuff like that. And it just gets on my nerves. I really am over it. I'm really tired of hearing it. And it's like, this, the, oh, this is like, I mean, I feel like the Clippers are the most divided fan base I've ever seen in my life. Every other team, when it's time to play all time, every, it seems like every other team's fan base stick together because it's not about individuality. It's about winning the chip. And if it's about that, all hands need to be on deck from Kawhi to PG to Harden to Russ to T-Man to even all the way down to Amir Coffee. It's all hands on deck to win it. Now, they didn't win last night. They didn't, they didn't pull out the victory. But they, they had some good things happening. They held a team like Dallas under 100 points. I can't remember the last time I seen Dallas score under 100 points, you know, in the regular season, especially the last 13, 14 games of the season. They were the hottest team in the league. So that lets you know Kawhi is still bringing that defensive intensity, but he needs his legs up under him. And everybody else just got to start getting back to their natural position to ingratiate him in so everybody can start flowing like they were. It's just that simple. They have to do that. And I believe they will. And like I said, Dallas got a game in L.A. Well, remember a couple years ago, they got two games in L.A. The Clippers were down 0-2 with Kawhi and Paul George on the floor. They were down 0-2. And the Clippers still came back and won because Kawhi turned into the basketball god that he is and said, no, that's not going to happen. We're going to come back and win this series. So being down, so so a tied series 1-1 is actually probably, it's, it's not a bad thing for the Clippers when they've been down 0-2 against this same team and had to go on the road and win some crucial games, and they did it. They did it. So it's like, leave all the doubt out and think about the longevity. This Clippers team is good enough to get past Dallas. Dallas, of course, is a is a good team. Don't get me wrong. I personally don't think Dallas can beat the Clippers. But, you know, a seven-game series, anything can happen. We've seen it happen before. But I personally think that the Clippers team is just better. And if Kawhi Leonard is in rhythm, I don't think P.J. Washington's and Galford, Gafford's and guys like that really are even going to matter. I mean, really, they shouldn't even stop Paul George or James Harden either. I mean, really, all three of them should have like 23 points apiece every game going forward if all of them are in rhythm. They really should. I mean, because there's nobody on Dallas that can stop them. Nobody. So, I mean, don't hit the panic button. Let's just see how it goes. The Clippers been down 0-2 before. So, I mean, if the Clippers been down 0-2 in a series before, and remember that year they lost their first two home games. So already, if you're tech, if we're being technical, the Clippers are off to a better start anyway because they lost their first two home games. What was it last year or the year before last when they played them? So it's like it's it's, it's already a better start than what it was then. So it's like stop with all the antics and all the BS. Everybody needs to be for one. Everybody needs to be one for all in this situation. Fans need to be on the Clippers side as a unit, not divided between who's the better player, who can go further with this one. If that's the case, then how come they don't have a championship? If that's the case, then how come they ain't been to a finals? All hands on deck. Don't forget it.
Thank you.